him taking care of it, him drawing. A big part of us getting paint touches is, is the focus that's on him. So uh, we have to find, you know, different and creative ways to get him the ball and let, help him get in the paint, right? Like, you know, we go for stretches in the second half where it's, um, you know, a little bit tonight, we just went straight sandlot, right? We've never run pistol before. But I can say it and they can do it. That, that's the difference, right, between year one and year two. I can just say, let's go pistol right here, and here's how we want to do it based on this and that, right? There, a couple of times early, we didn't get it the way we wanted to because the guys on the weak side didn't quite know what we wanted to do. Uh, but then, you know, hey, let's get one time out. Let's talk about it. Now, we can run it whenever we want to. Uh, but that team right there that's thinking about those things, that's spacing the right way and figuring out that if we can get him in the paint, that's more help that people are going to have to, um, you yeah, know, it, it's going to. They're not helping. We're going to get open shots. We're going to get open threes. We're going to get dunks, like whatever it may be. My coach, you go from down two to up 20. That's not something you can expect to keep extending it against a team that's going to fight like that. What is your teaching point, though? Because Marcus mentioned, you know, he felt they he said, took, you guys took your foot off the gas when you're up 20, and all of a sudden they're down 11. Like that. What is a teaching point you can take only two games into the season in that situation? Yeah, I, you know, um, just those runs that, like, the, they don't happen in, um, you know, there's no 20-point shots, right, for our guys. And we talked about that last game. And they wanted, man, they wanted to beat Stonehill with, you know, they wanted to be up 20 with 19 minutes on the clock. Uh, but it doesn't happen that way, right? These guys get scholarships too. Okay? So, like, you have to do it possession by possession. And every time we leave a huddle, I'm always talking about score, stop, score. Stop, score, stop, right? And that's how you do it. You got to string those possessions together. And we did it for moments. And um, <coughs> yeah, it's on like, you know, sometimes I, I overcoach it and overthink it, right? Like we got that lead. We got to a point where they called a timeout and then there was a media coming, mm -hmm. right? And I sub Braden and JR uh, or sub Braden and somebody else out because I'm like, if we get two – back-to-back -back medias, these guys are not going to miss much game time. I can get them out. They can get a long break, and they're not really missing any game time. Well, shoot, the clock's running. By the time I get them back yeah. in, like it's like, hey, dummy, why don't you just leave them in? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So sometimes, like, it's, sometimes it's my fault, too. Right? And that's you know things that you think about, things that you think are going to work. Um, you know, this time it didn't. But it also helped us, like, dudes had to play some minutes. And when we play some, when we play some people, they're gonna have to play some minutes, and this was, this was an opportunity because we haven't done it. They didn't get to play a lot of minutes um, against um, Fort Wayne or Stonehill, so now they're playing real game minutes in a lot of them. 